Hi, thanks for joining me and uh, welcome back to the channel. So this is a bit of a strange one for me because I have already uh, listened to and shot the video and edited it for this here, which is Horch House's um, incredible release on tape of Aldi Miola, John McLaughlin, Paco de Lucia, Saturday night in San Francisco. And as you can see here, this is a um, reel-to-reel -reel master tape, if you don't mind the expression, copy of um, the, well, the masters of this album. And the masters of this album is something where we get into uh, um, a bit of an interesting story. And also here, you can see this is um, Ear Music Classics. And if we go to the copyright info, it, it claims um, copyright or published by Ear Music, a label of Edel Music and Entertainment GmbH. Um, and Analog Arts, uh, which is Horse House. Horse House. Um, and and I, I also want to add, this is um, Pure Analog Mastering by Christoph Stickel, who um, is, um, I believe he does ECM, uh, apart from other, you know, amongst other things, but, uh, you know, a very, very, very proficient and well-respected mastering engineer. So uh, th that's, this is the... Um, this, this is the paperwork. This is the uh, cover. Let me find you the cover. And anyway, in my in my video review, which is coming up just after this, uh, I, I talk about it. I get very enthusiastic. Spoiler alert. Um, but I do reference the fact that it has also been released by Impex on vinyl. And um, I hadn't heard that. And it just, whilst whilst editing it and writing the story up for my website, The Real to Real Rambler, I thought, you know, I need to listen to that Impex because everyone's going to ask how it compares, how does it compare, what, which one sounds best, etc., etc. So I subsequently uh, went out and bought this, uh, the Impex Records version. I got this from my friend David Brook up at the Vinyl Adventure. Thanks very much, David, for getting it to me in double quick time. Now, um, what I've done is I have listened to both and I have recorded, rather than re-record the video that I've just done, which was done purely on the listening to this, uh, I kind of wanted, to, I, I thought it was fair to actually put that one out. So that's what's coming up at next. Um, and I've done a second video where I discuss the impacts and the differences between them because there's some pretty massive um, and very, very, very interesting differences between them. And uh, so if you're interested in to know what that's all about, or you're more interested in what the impact sounds like, then please watch the second video on this. I'm going to do these two videos and publish them together. So there's part one, this, and part two, which will feature the impact and uh and you know my conclusions questions um ponderings um about the two and uh, why certain decisions have been made okay so without further ado i will uh say cheerio for now and um you'll get all of the uh reaction from me on the tape version from horch house okay catch you in a bit Hi, thanks for joining me. And uh, if you're not new to the channel, welcome back. So today, I did hint about this in my last video, but today I'm going to be talking about a tape. And um, here we are here. This is the latest from uh, Horch House. Well, this one specifically isn't the latest. It actually released last year. Um, but if I show you the spines there, I'm not quite sure if you'll see this. But basically it's... Uh, Aldi Miola, Saturday night in San Francisco. Well, that's how it's billed. But if we go back to uh, this, which I think probably most of you will be aware of, 
Al Di Miola, John McLaughlin and Paco De Lucia. It's Friday night in San Francisco. Now, this was recorded uh, in 1980, I think, um, the Warfield Theatre, San Francisco, um, California, Friday, December the 5th, 1980. And this is, um, I mean, this is an absolute classic recording. It's it's beautiful, it's phenomenal guitar uh, in, in the sort of, um, sort of, Latin, Spanish, um, flamenco kind of erring in that way, really. Uh, and it's it's just absolutely amazing. Three acoustic guitars live on stage. And it really is an amazing, amazing recording. And anyone who hasn't heard it, I would urge you to go and seek this out. While I'm on the subject of that, I just want to very briefly touch on this, um, which is um, John McLaughlin at the Royal Festival Hall. Uh, and I think I bought this probably back in about when it came out. And um, again, it's just, you know, it's fantastic music, but the, the, the three go together. But this one here specifically, Friday night in San Francisco, this has been an absolute classic for the last 40 odd years. And it was only last year that the first release of tapes came out. Um, of the Saturday night, basically. So it's um, it's it's different music, it's different tracks. Um, I'm not entirely certain whether they played the same set on the Friday and the Saturday nights. I wouldn't be surprised if they did, but um, that's what this is. Now, I just want to touch, before I get into the music and the recording and the quality of it, I just want to touch on this packaging because Porch House, this was their previous packaging, which is very luxurious. Um, really is very nice. And if you look in here, hang on. You'll see you've got a, a lovely sort of uh, art folio, art portfolio of uh, images. And then you've got your reels here. This one's um, Count Basie Orchestra High Voltage. Phenomenal sounding record. But anyway, the trouble with these, if I, um, if I put this up against the size of this LP here, you can see they're actually slightly bigger than LP sized. Now, most tapes are our 10 and a half inch reels. Um, and uh, as, let me show you here, in fact, excuse me, I still got my cold, so uh, forgive me if I'm a bit gruff sounding. Um, but if we look here, you can see how much space there is around the edge of these reels. Uh, and the trouble with these boxes, very lovely though they are, is they don't fit on my tape shelves. Um, now, take a look at this. This is the new style of Watch House packaging. And as you can see, it's smaller um, and as such, it does fit on my tape shelves. Uh, size isn't everything, and, and size isn't the only issue here. What else we've got is sort of how easy the tapes are to get out, which is something that can really bug me, frankly. Um, so what we've got here is two individual uh, sort of tape care cases. Um, and these are made by Still, S-T-I-L, which is a Canadian company that make a sort of archiving um, media storage solutions. Anyway, let me just pull them both up. So, but because of these little tabs, you can pull just take one, just take two out. And then here's a sort of a your portfolio of the uh, artwork and everything. Right, anyway, before I get onto the artwork, which is specific to the recording, let me just show you these tape cases. Now, um, apart from the fact that the case fits now on the shelf, that you can easily just slide one or the other reels out, or the artwork for that matter, you get these really robust um, plastic tape cases. Uh, as you can see there, maybe it's got Horch House sort of um, moulded into it and steel the uh, manufacturer and of course you've got your label there so ear music which is the label that uh, own, owns the um, 
the master of, of this and the copyright to it. Although there is two licenses, I believe, granted. Uh, the other one is to, um, I think it's Impex Records in the States. And interestingly enough, the Impex one has been digitised and uh, corrected, which I would imagine uh, means the um, plangent process. But um, I have asked and been, been assured that this one hasn't been digitised. This was just taken direct from a two-track master. So, Ear Music, that's the uh, copyright holder. And the full title of the music, it, it's, well, the full title is Saturday Night in San Francisco. Uh, but the, um, the artists, Aldi Miola, John McLaughlin and Paco de Lucia. And then, anyway, look at these cases. So, you've got a nice little click lock. And then uh, they open up. And there's your tape. And uh, if I take that out, you can see that's what you get. Well, you get you get two of these reels. Uh, it's on uh, Recording the Masters SM900 tape, which is their highest quality master tape, master recording tape. And here we've got the label, tape one of two, and obviously the other one would be tape two of two, uh, a serial number, and... Um, you know, kind of, I, I believe if you scan this, it will sort of authenticate that this is a, a genuine article rather than some dodgy pirate copy. Just while we're on the subject of these, as you can see here, we've got um, this inner here, which fits the nab type reels. You've also got here a little um, insert, which you'd obviously pull that out, put that in. And that would hold the AEG uh, pancake type hub. So these are universal cases and, and I mean really very nice indeed. This is a massive, massive upgrade in storage. So uh, you know what you get for your money is, is, is pretty special. So anyway, as I said, you get two of these and I will uh, put them back in the uh, box as we go through it. Take one. And tape two. And now let me show you the uh, what comes in here. So open this up. So there's your serial number again, and the same um, sort of scan authentication. Uh, it does say here this has been um, welcome to your personal reel to reel master tape copy because it is a copy of a master tape, okay? The tape is supplied tail out. You have to rewind before play. Uh, your tape was produced on Studer A80 machines at Analog Arts, Germany. And this is a serial number and security codes. And it just gives you uh, uh, something. I'll, I'll get onto this in a minute, but um, there's three options for buying Horchhouse tapes. This one's on SM900. There is also options on um, LPR90. It's quarter inch two track stereo, 510 nanoweavers a meter, which is very high level studio master type uh, operating level. Uh, 310 nan nanoweavers is, is more normal studio. Uh, again, I will get onto that. 38 centimeters a second, which equals 15 inches per second. And it's CCIR EQ. NAB is available on another product, which I will uh, I will mention, excuse me. And then here we are, music on tape one, music on tape two. And if I just run through the tracks, because what you've got is, it is, a, it is an astonishing um, performance and recording. So uh, for starters on stage, you've got uh, sitting on the left, Aldi Miola, center, John McLaughlin, and on the right, Paco de Lucia. Now, if you don't recognize their immediate guitar styles, what's really, really cool here, so um, on tape one, first of all, you get an introduction. Uh, Bill Graham, Master of Ceremonies, introduces them. Then we've got Splendido Sundance, which is just absolutely phenomenal. Beautiful, beautiful, stunning music. You've got the three of them sitting there on the stage, just 
playing like, you know, their lives are on, you know, depend on it. Um, and there's just, you know, the whole flamenco style anyway, there's just so many notes. It's so full of energy and um, vivacious sort of spirit and fire with three of them, three absolutely virtuoso players. It is just staggering. And I have to say on tape as well versus on CD or LP, you know, it's the ultimate format and it really, really, really is incredible. What you've got after uh, Splendido Sundance are three, uh, three tracks, one word, Trilogy Suite and Monasterio de Sal. Now, one word is uh, written, arranged and performed by John McLaughlin on his own. So, of course, you get to see, so to speak, John McLaughlin and hear his guitar, his style, his playing, his kind of handling of the guitar and see where he is in the soundstage, which is dead centre. The next track, Trilogy Suite, again, is composed, arranged and performed, but this time by Al Di Miola, who sits on the left. And, uh, again, you know, it, it's... Um, Miola is, um, just for those of you who don't know, um, American of Italian descent. And, um, you know, so still, you know, very much a Latin kind of player. Um, McLaughlin is, is, is English. Um, and um, although I would hazard a guess, he's got Scottish roots with a name like McLaughlin. And then um, Paco de Lucia is Spanish. And... Uh, the, the final track on side one, Monasterio de Sal, Monastery of Salt, I believe, is written, arranged and performed by Paco de Lucia. And of course, he sits on the right. So through side one, you've sort of got an introduction. You've got a phenomenal song with all three of them playing together. And then you've got three, I mean, absolutely achingly beautiful, phenomenal, wonderful pieces of music. Sort of pos positioned across the stage, you know, sort of track. Well, the same for, after the introduction, it's kind of track two, track three, and track four. You, you're kind of familiar with the three guitarists and their position in space by the end of side one, which is really, really, really cool. And then we go over to side two, and you've got another three tracks. E, e, the, all three of these are performed by the trio. So, you know, you've already established who's who and where they are. And it, it just gives you even more enjoyment of uh, of side two i would i think because you can kind of you know you can really feel the different the way that they're playing and sparring with each other um it's just magnificent and it ought to be said that splendido sundance uh the one that opens side one after the intro uh is written by aldi miola el panuelo uh is written by paco de lucia and meeting of the spirits is written by john mclaughlin and then uh, what closes up the um, the album Orfeo Negro was written by uh, uh, Louis Bonfa. Not sure how you pronounce that, but again, performed by the trio. But it's really cool. So you've got each of the three individual musicians, composers, artists, you get them performing solo, one of their own compositions. And then you get the trio performing one each of their compositions and then one final you know, Closer, which was uh, written by someone else, basically. And um, it's, you know, that's it. It's, it is, it's about 45 minutes long, the whole thing. And it is just an absolute rocket ship of energy. It's, it's phenomenal. Um, here we are. Here's the uh, reproduction of the, uh, the cover. Obviously, uh, this is available on vinyl now as well. The, the vinyl issue only came out last week, uh, last year, um, and I guess it's available on CD and possibly SA CD. But I say it is it is available on Impex Records, uh, albeit from a different source. Um, and then here we've got uh, sort of what would be the back cover, so to speak, a little sort of introduction, and again, just running through the um, the tracks, titles, who's who's playing who performs each one, which is really, really cool information. And then, um, uh, as if you didn't know already, because we, you know, we've just talked about this, but 
here we are. So, you know, on the on the left, uh, Aldi Miola, John McLaughlin and Paco de Lucia. And you can kind of see their guitars and, and you know, it's just, it, it, it's absolutely brilliant to sort of just feel, be there because it, it is, if there's one thing about this, uh, this tape, you just feel so there. It is an amazingly electric, and when I say electric, <laughs> concert. Of course, there, there, there's three phenomenal musicians playing acoustic guitars, but the electricity is in the air and in the performance uh, and in the music. And it is absolutely, utterly, utterly stunning. Um, and uh, there we have it. So this is what you get with the um, with this particular issue. Now, I just want to... Uh, I'll actually go on to... Um, Hawkins' website here, if you just excuse me one second, because there are, as I said, there's three versions of these. And I just want to run through what the difference is. So this here, I'm just going to put this away, but you can see what, uh, what we're talking about. So this here is what is called a studio master copy. And bear in mind that, uh, you know, SM900, 510 nano webers, tape operating level. This really is, um, you know, it's a copy of a master, but, you know, copies of masters, otherwise known as uh, safety masters, production masters, whatever. You know, these are things that records, this would have been made from a production master or safety master. This incidentally is a digital recording, for those who don't know. Um, still sounds great, but anyway, this, this is an analog recording. Um, so this is the studio master copy and what that refers to is you get two reels of sm900 which is the highest quality studio mastering tape recorded at 510 nanowebers a meter which is a very high level and you'd need to align ideally you really need to align your um, tape recorder to play this back properly um, and this sells for uh i'm going to read the uh, rest of world price because that's in uh post brexit britain is what we pay this is 408 euros um now that is actually really cheap um i mean that really is that's under 400 pound for two reels of tape which cost 100 pound each anyway um but you know recorded and presented in such style that is very 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 cheap as uh master copies go but so that's the first one this is the studio master copy the standard master copy um you get a very similar box you get the same folio of uh, artwork um but you get instead you get um one reel in one box and that's recorded onto i believe it's lpr yeah recording the masters lpr 90 which is the same tape formulation as this. It's just printed onto a thinner substrate. Um, so um, basically it's, it's the long play version. And so you can actually fit the thing on one reel. Now, sonically, um, I very much doubt there's any appreciable difference really. Um, it's just a case of this is how the original Studio Master would have been on two reels. Uh, you know, uh, and and um, that's how this is reproduced. Uh, the standard master copy that comes on one reel of LPR90 uh, is actually recorded at 320 nanowebers a meter. Now, that's the tape level that the tape project um analog productions hemiolia you know etc etc that's the that's the same level that they all use now bearing that in mind uh if you don't want to keep going adjusting the uh uh operating level of your machine for you know when you're switching tapes you may even be better off just buying the standard master copy um the, the you know obviously the uh the, the bonus there is you don't have to um, keep fiddling around with levels. Uh, but the other bonus, of course, is the price. And for that, that will cost you 285 euros, okay? But 285 euros for 
this music is absolutely stunning. And the third option, the third option I think will be of real interest to uh, an awful lot of people. So what you get there is just one of these cases, okay? And uh, inside that case is a seven inch reel of uh, LPR90. And that is recorded in NAB equalization at 250 nanowebers a meter. Uh, and it is two track. So that will be playable on two track or most four track machines too. Okay. Um, and uh, you get a, um, you get a sort of a slimmed down version of the, um, of the artwork and all the rest of it. You don't get the same level of artwork quality. Uh, but that sells for the rest of world price is 180 euros. Now, you know, that will, uh, also, one other thing I need to say is that that is recorded at seven and a half IPS. Okay. So it's a slower speed. Um, uh, it's NAB EQ really because most sort of, um, all of the old sort of, uh, historical kind of seven inch real, seven and a half IPS and three and three quarters IPS uh, commercially available tapes were recorded in NAB equalization. So most people who've got a machine like that will will want NAB. But it's 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 absolutely fabulous that Horchhouse offer you the choice. And you know you for uh, what was it um sorry I'm scrolling up and down here for 180 euros I mean, that, you know, that might seem quite a lot for a seven inch reel of tape, but uh, 285 euros for the standard master copy. That's, I mean, that's incredible. That really is. Um, and then this full on studio version uh, for 408, um, again, plus taxes and shipping. Uh, I think is really, really, really good. So um, there we have it. Uh, new style packaging, new way of offering their range in, in three different sort of quality levels. Um, I would say really the, the studio and the standard master copies, um, really and honestly, they should sound pretty much the same. Um, I would think they would be indistinguishable unless you had them absolutely side by side. And, you know, unless you absolutely kind of you know if you think and this is my thinking it's like well if i'm spending 285 um it's only just over 100 euros more to get the full-on um you know on sm900 on two reels the full studio effect um and of course by having that extra high operating level what you do is you lower it's actually about um i think it's 3 db it might be 4 db higher in level than um the other the other uh, the standard uh, master copy but what that does in in reality all that does is it drops the noise floor and people go on about tape noise floor and tape hiss and all that and frankly i think it's um, it's almost irrelevant because you know unless it's really 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 bad with some dodgy old master from the sort of 40s 50s 60s that um, you know it's been really badly treated uh you know, tape hiss is, you know, it's lower than vinyl surface raw, put it like that. So, um, you know, I, I think it's um, it's not something you really need to worry about, but, you know, for less than, for, for around a hundred euros more than the uh, the standard, you get the full on studio master copy. And, you know, that to me is um, not very much money for a very, very, very special product. Saturday night in San Francisco. It is the absolute best companion to Friday night in San Francisco, who most of us will have heard um, and appreciate. It's absolutely bloody stunning. Um, and, um, you know, you can go out and buy the Implex one on vinyl, or you can buy it on tape here. And this is, um, it sounds absolutely stunning. Thoroughly, thoroughly recommended. This is an absolute cracking tape release. On that note, I'll say thank you for watching. 
cheerio for now. If you want to read a more in-depth review of this, I will put a review on my website, which is uh, therealtorealrambler.com. And uh, I'll put a link to that down in the description too. Uh, and I'll obviously put a link to Horch House's web shop where I bought this from. Okay, thank you very much. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.